So in the last video we managed to display comments and we can actually post comments just like that. Now we're going to spend this video fixing a bunch of issues that I found. So number okay, so back navigation is number one on the comments. That's not set up yet. Um, number two is there's a whole bunch of issues surrounding uh, the situation when there's no comments on a photo. So if we click on this photo, for example, there's no comments and you can see that it's saying there's three, but there's actually none. So we need to fix that number. Uh, back navigation isn't working and also the caption isn't being displayed if there's no comments. So there's a lot of issues surrounding uh, the, the situation is when there's no comments. So we need to fix all that stuff and this is also, this is just actually coincidentally displaying the right number uh, because, oh no it's not, there's only actually two comments here and it's displaying it's displaying three so that needs to be fixed. There's also this weird context issue that I ran into so I'll try and get it to get it to happen here. Actually I'll go to a, yeah I guess I can post here. So I'll go test one and hit post and you can see that the app crashes there. And it doesn't usually crash like if I launch the app go right to the photo and then make a post it doesn't crash but as soon as I use any kind of back navigation and then go back to the photo and post it will crash the app and it will give a message saying like um, fragment not attached to activity or sometimes fragment is null something like that and if you click it it just ends up po pointing you to your view comments fragment and it points to these get string references so but in general the issue is that the fragment is appearing to be null or not attached to an activity so we need to uh, fix that also so let's get started with the first issue I mentioned and um, display that correct the correct number down below in that text view on in uh, to display the number of comments so we can go we're gonna have uh, two situations here so if mphoto.getcomments.size is greater than zero that means there is comments so then we can go m Oh, we don't have that widget. First, we need to instantiate the widget, actually. So let's go up to the very top and create that text view widget for the comments. So M comments. And then down into on create. And comments equals text view. View find view ID, R to ID dot something comments. image comments link that would be the one and let's go down to where we were before right here in setup in setup widgets and so now if we have comments we go m comments dot set text view all blank m photo dot get comments dot size so view all that number of comments, and if there is no comments, then we just go m comments set text to nothing, and that should take care of that. And now we need to set non click listener to that comments text view widget. So log d navigating to comments thread, and in that case, we just do uh, use our uh, comment selected comment thread selected listener, and on comment thread selected and then pass the photo. And that should be good. So that will take care of that, our first problem. Now let's go into our view comments fragment and set up our back navigation first of all. So let's go into the setup widgets method here and we can go uh, something back, yeah, back arrow, uncle listener, no uncle listener. Let's go navigating back. And we can just do get activity, get support fragment manager and pop the back stack. And that should be good. And that brings me to the final issue, which was the crashing issue, which was a context. So I'll spend just maybe 30 seconds kind of explaining what's happening. So the way we have this is view post fragment and view comments fragment. They are, they're accessed through interfaces through profile activity. Both of them are. So on comment thread selected listener and on grid item selected. These are, this is how view post fragment is inflated and this is how view comments fragment is inflated. Somewhere along the way if you go if you inflate view com, view post fragment and then inflate view comments fragment and then navigate back so hit the back button and then go forward again and go to view comments fragment somewhere along the way the context gets lost. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how but it does and so but I do know how to fix it anyway because 
it works the first time, like when you first open view comments fragment. And in order for it for the, to work the first time, means that the context has to be there. So when it first launches, it's fine. But as soon as you post a comment, essentially setup widgets gets called again, and which means get activity gets called again, but get activity isn't able to get the context. So somewhere, I don't, I'm not really sure, but, but what we can do is we can just set a constant context. So create a, create a global context variable, and then just go in on create view, go context equals get activity. That way the context is going to be constant. No matter what, it's not going to change. What, no matter how many times you call setup widgets or anything, it's not going to change. And then just replace all your get activities with the context. And that will keep it as a constant instead of changing. And so the same thing here in the back arrow, context. Oh, that doesn't work. You have to use get activity there to get the support fragment manager, but that should be fine. Um, and then any of the get string calls inside of setup Firebase auth, those will also cause it to crash. So inside here, we have to go context dot get string on each one of these. So I'm just going to copy context dot and put it in front of each of these get strings. There's a whole bunch of them. So we have a whole bunch of these to do. Get string, get string. There's a whole bunch down here. Get string, get string, get string, get string. And there's another one here. And I think that's all of them, but if I missed any, the app will just crash, so we'll just test it. But that should be good with that. And I probably forgot something, but let's just run it, and the app will crash, obviously, if I forgot anything. So we will find out in just a moment. Okay, to the profile. Let's just test those minor changes that we made first. So first of all, making sure that the there's no comments displaying there. And oh, I forgot to fix this issue. So this issue was the one where the caption isn't being displayed if there's no comments. So that is, we have to fix that with some if logic right here because right here, this is only gonna be, this is only the child event listener is only attached to the comments field, of the comments node in the database. And since if there's no comments, there's no comments node, this never gets called and therefore setup widgets never gets called. And also the first comment never gets set. So we basically just have to write a small if statement here handling if there is no comments. So if photo.getcomments.size uh, equals zero, then we do comments.clear. And actually I can just copy exactly what's right here. So stick that in there. Comments add first comment and then photo.set comments to comments and then we just call our setup widgets method and that way the widgets still all get set up even if there is no comments and now that reminds me of another thing that I forgot this is actually going to return null because this photo currently has no uh, comments attached to it because when we actually got when we got the photo object from the bundle the fo that photo has no comments and that's that the reason for that is because in profile fragment inside of our setup grid view method here when we actually get the photo uh, we don't set the comments to the photo so here we have to set the comments to the photo uh, so we can just go or actually there should be a loop somewhere else that we can just copy yeah we can just copy the loop from view comments fragment down in here we can basically we just want this loop right here this is one we're after because it's the same thing we're just getting the comments and setting them to the photo so we can paste that in here we're going to need to create a new local array list of comments so just go i just call it comments goes new array list and then go comments at comment and then photo dot set the comments and that should be good we can get rid of this context that should be good. So now that photo that's being passed through the bundle to the view comments fragment is going to actually have comments attached to it. So when this gets called, it won't throw a null pointer, it will throw a zero. So let's run that now. And if I forgot anything, uh, it will become apparent very quickly. Okay, to the profile. And we'll click on this guy saying no comments and we get the caption so that's perfect that works back navigation works now it's saying one comment for some reason 
Now there's no... What? That was weird. So I go there. Oh, and then I go back. And it's saying there's a comment? That is so weird. It's like... So I click the photo. That's all good. No comments. Click it. All good. Go back. Now suddenly it's saying there's a comment. And there's, there, those are two totally different fragments. It's like... Oh, damn ad. And then you click on it, go back to the comments, and now it's breaking. As if now in view comments fragment, this isn't being caught, and it's interpreting the photo as actually having a comment, but it doesn't. Okay, I've solved the problem. There's like a, a memory pointer issue, um, so we're gonna I'm gonna do something kind of kind of weird to solve it, but basically. I'm gonna. I'll explain what happened at the end of this video if you want to. If you're interested in the explanation, but otherwise, I'm just gonna write out the solution here. So take down the solution, and then if you want to hear what was happening, then uh, watch at the end of the video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to comment this out, and I'm going to create a new variable: string photo ID equals get photo get photo bundle get photo ID and now I'm gonna put a big huge query here uh, I'm just gonna plop it in since I've already typed it out and then I'm going to just walk through it so here it is no oh, I already had that so we create a, we create a query we're querying the photos node looking for the photo ID and we're gonna pass the photo ID that I just took got from the bundle right here and then we just do a regular uh, add value single event listener uh, then we're getting the photo, getting getting the comments, attaching the comments to the photo, and then what we're doing is assigning the global photo for this fragment to this new photo that I just created locally inside this loop. So then we have our photo. photo. Uh, then I'm going to call our get photo details in get likes string method. Uh, so I got rid of it. It's not. It, they're no longer down here. Uh, and then after, actually, then I need to take this stuff right here. So universal image loader and the activity number. I'm going to cut that, and that's going to go up here. So I'm going to put those up here, and I'm going to go get photo from bundle, get the image path, and then set the image, and that's still getting the activity from the bundle. And this will solve the problem. So let's just run it and make sure, and then I'm going to explain it all to you if you're interested in hearing the solution. Because it was kind of kind of weird. It, it it was like the there was a memory issue. There were there was two objects that were basically pointing to one another with respect to their memory lo location. So let's go to the profile. Go to this photo. Looks good. Do the comments. That's all good. So now let's go back. And great. It's not saying that there's comments. I can go here and it's all good. Now I'm going to post the comment. So I'm going to first. Good. Go back, go back, go back to the photo, comment, that's still there. Now I'm going to go second, and it doesn't crash. So everything is good now. <laughs> uh, so now, if you're interested in the solution, I'm actually going to, I have to I'm going to have to draw something out, so I'm going to bring out my drawing board here. Sorry, there we go. So we have profile fragment, view post fragment, and view comments fragment. So we go from profile fragment, the photo goes to a bundle, into view post fragment, and then the photo object is recreated there and then once again you click on the comment the comments thread and it goes into another bundle and then in and then it's recreated again the photo object over here so what was happening was we navigate to view comments from photo so basically we go you know from here and then to here and pass the photo along but then when, once we were here and we went back what was happening was this bundle, this photo object was pointing to the memory location. It was a, it was a pointer basically. This photo object was pointed to the bundle, which was pointed to this photo, which was then pointed to this bundle and then to this photo. So it basically, just trickled back down the memory location. So when we when we finally did go to view comments fragment, and then we went back, this photo object 
was inheriting the properties of this photo object. So in view post fragment, because in view view comments fragment, we added a comment, that first comment that, that is that's actually the caption. So then when we were navigating back, this photo object was was now looking at it and saying, oh, okay, so now I have a comment. And so because it had a comment, it was causing that issue and it was showing down in the text view widget that it had one comment. And then when we went later to navigate back to view comments fragment, it was it was right away from the bundle it was saying okay I have a comment so then our if statement wasn't running that requires it to not have comments and so it was just throwing it all off so hopefully that made sense and so then the solution so then the solution that I did here basically was instead of getting the photo from the bundle in view post fragment all I get is the ID because the ID doesn't change the ID is constant no matter what and then I'm querying the database and getting the photo. That way it's getting the true photo of what it actually is. We're not just looking at the memory locations in Android. In Android, we're actually querying the database and getting the actual photo. So that was how I solved it here. So there you go. That was a bit of a mess, but we did it. And in the, in the next video, we are now, I'm going to kind of stop with the comment stuff. I'm not going to do the likes, not going to do the replies, because I really just want to move on and get started with the following stuff and displaying photos in the main feed. So in the next one, what we're going to work on first is this search function. We're going to create a search bar here so you can you can find users and view other users' profiles. And then after that, implement a following system and then work on the main feed. So I'll see you guys in that next video.